process-based perspectives are concerned with how motivation occurs. Rather than attempting to identify specific motivational stimuli, process perspectives focus on how people choose certain behavioral options to satisfy their needs and how they evaluate their satisfaction. Let's take a look at the equity theory of motivation. The equity theory of motivation is based on a relatively simple premise that people in organizations want to be treated fairly. The equity theory defines equity as the belief that we're being treated fairly in relation to others, and defines inequity as the belief that we're not being treated fairly in comparison to others. Equity theory is just one of several theoretical formulations derived from social comparison processes. Social comparisons involve evaluating our own situations in terms of other situations. In this course, we focus mainly on equity theory because it's the most highly developed tool of the social comparison approaches, and one that applies most directly to the motivation of people and organizations. People in organizations form perceptions of the equity of their treatment through a four-step process. First, they evaluate how they're being treated by the organization. Second, they form a perception of how a comparison other is being treated. The comparison other might be a person in the same work group, someone in another part of the organization, or even a composite of several people scattered throughout the organization. Third, they compare their own circumstances with those of the comparison other, and then use this comparison as a basis for forming an impression of either equity or inequity. Fourth, depending on the strength of this feeling, the person may choose to pursue one or more alternatives. Equity theory describes the equity comparison process in terms of an input to outcome ratio. Inputs are the individual's contributions to the organization, such as factors as education, experience, effort, and loyalty. Outcomes are what the person receives in return, pay, recognition, social relationships, intrinsic rewards, and similar things. This figure summarizes the results of an equity comparison. If a person feels equitably treated, he or she is generally motivated to maintain the status quo. People may use one of six common methods to reduce inequity. First, we may change our own inputs. Second, we may change our own outcomes. Third, a more complex response is to alter our perceptions of ourselves or our behavior. Fourth, we may alter our perception of the comparison others' inputs or outcomes. Fifth, we may change the object of comparison. And finally, as a last resort, we may simply leave the situation. People form equity perceptions by comparing their situation to that of someone else's. If they perceive equity, they're motivated to maintain the current situation. If they perceive inequity, they're motivated to use strategies to reduce that inequity.